I'm called Agnes Mari, deputy in charge of the girl child. And I want to say something specifically about the girl child to you as our parents. I appreciate you for all you're doing for these children, most especially for keeping the girls at school. I thank you for paying the fees. I thank you for continually looking after these children. I thank you for coming for this meeting. Your presence here says a lot about the relationship between you and your children. But it also says something about your relationship with us, the teachers, that you've allowed to take charge of your children while at school. I just want to remind us of a few things. The first one is to encourage us to be friends with these children. Many times we pretend to be so, so strict. I'm calling it pretending because I know that we love them. But if you're not showing this child that you love them and you're just showing the other side of you, at times you may lose out. These are not called children. There are certain things that you have to show them. You know, you're paying the fees, which is okay. You ensure that they have everything they need at school. That is very good. But when you're talking to the child, you are like a policeman all the time. You know, you don't laugh with the child. You don't joke with the child. You are this strict parent all the time. And you want to show them that I'm straight and there is, you know, I don't have your space. In my life, at times this scares away the children. They're going through so many challenges, like the career teacher was saying. And if you don't show them that you care, if you don't give them the space to come and share with you what they're going through, you may lose out. You may lose out. Most especially the fathers. Please let's love these children. Show your girl that you love them more than anybody else. As they are moving from home to school, they meet with so many distractors. And if you cushion them from home, there will be no problem. But if you are this person that is pushing them away and showing them you are tough, they will get the kind of words that they want to get from those other foreigners who may be exploiting the situation. So mine is to encourage you to be friends with your children. I want you not to tire to guide and counsel. We should always remember that our children are just but children. Even if somebody looks big or is even taller than you, as long as they are your children, please don't get tired of telling them what is right and what is not right. The role of the parent ends when the child has died or when you, the parent, has died. Even if it's a married child, that child remains your child and your responsibility. So don't get tired of talking to them, guiding them, and counseling them. When these children come back home, at school we give them a lot of work. When they come home, please give them a chance to rest a bit, to freshen up a bit, and be able to clear their mindset that they can do some more reading, most especially now that they are candidates. But the child reaches home, maybe you have a bar, you're like, okay, remove your uniform, let's go at work, this is where the money comes from. So you find this young person in the bar until maybe very late, helping you to get money, which is okay. But let, let's think about them. What has been happening to them the whole day at school? And there is nothing as tiring as brain work. By the time they leave this place, because one teacher comes in, another comes in after that one, and the other one comes in. By the time they get home, they are really tired. I'm not saying you shouldn't give them house chores, they shouldn't help you. They're supposed to help you. But for the candidates, let's give them some time to prepare for these exams really well. They need some bit of rest, and they need some more time at home to continue with 
reading. These children have so many challenges. Some of the challenges they will not tell you. In fact, many of the challenges they don't tell you. Reason one, we've not created that trouble between us and them such that they can freely tell us what they are going through. But also, we are so stressed up as parents also that we don't want their problems to be part of our problems. You know, you're stressed up, the child doesn't have, maybe asking for a uniform, is asking for a workbook, is asking for fees, uh, they, they're asking for, I don't know what, from elsewhere. And you are stressed up as a parent. So you close up and you don't allow the child to tell you what they are going through. It may be something that doesn't necessitate money. It may be just your shoulder to cry on or just your ear for you to hear what they are going through. But when you close up because you have challenges and you're forgetting that this child is part of the challenges and is supposed to be accommodated, you may end up losing out. I want to add us to provide for these children. I know we are all struggling, but try your very best and give what you can. If you cannot give, explain. Explain to these children, they understand. But if you just shout at them, you just push them away because they are bothering you, or because you have so many problems, you, you, you kill it all. Share with them, tell them, you know, now you are four students that I have, this is the money that I have, and we are sharing it like this. When we share it like this, there will not be enough money for this. Let's wait for this time, maybe I'll get this for you. And they will understand, I think. Other than closing up and they don't know what is happening, but they are taking it like, mommy doesn't love me, daddy doesn't love me. Talk to them. Accept them as they are. Let's avoid comparing them to others. You're like, so and so's child is always the best. So and so's child is like this. Why are you like this? You know, allow them to be them and just encourage them to improve on what you think is not right. They might have done something and it didn't turn out as you really wanted, but encourage them. You know, you did this. I know you put in your very best, but it didn't come out as it's supposed to do. I think let's make strategies on how to improve next time. Agree with them. How do you think we can make this better? such that next time what comes out is better than what we have today. Talk with them, encourage them, accept them. They can't all be the same. We give extra lessons. Children come here very early in the morning and others sleep very late in the evening. When a child comes back a little late, talk to them and find out. I know there are many that hide under that and do other junior things. But if you're interested in your child, and if you know your child, you'll be able to know when the child has been messing up or whether the child has been really at school. Let's not be quick to just reprimand, but you can find out. Obado nyonye biyuma, yuwa niko seza mmakago, mufamu yo, ufabemba ale vale, ufamu machinari. Tukulete debiyuma biyuwa niko seza mmakago, mufamu, utandi kao business yo, entono tono. Gambi biyuma anga, omuli, obuko la popokoni, obu amanda, na masanyarazi. Netubeira nebiyuma, ebisha kasoli, maize blend, nebisala, esubi, ediente. Tusange mchibuga, echembale, wanoku industrial area, kuround about, egenda kulufula ugwere road. Tusangi kunamba yesimu 0 msambu 5 muenda 1 nya muenda 1 tano 0 Our phones are on. You're going to be the class teachers and uh, the subject teachers. You could call one and find out what is it that is happening at school. Today, this and this happened. Did you know about it? And the teachers will tell you the truth. 
before you can make any other judgment. I want us to encourage you, I want to encourage us to monitor these children. They are not home children and they do so many things and they know a lot of things, some of which we don't know. Monitor them. Monitor everything about them. You might say, maybe this child has books and I, I, I didn't go to school, I don't know how to read what they are doing. The mere fact that you're telling a child, let me look at your notes, is enough to scare this child not to deceive you. Because they don't know how much you know. Regularly look at the book, you can see. Today, the book goes up to halfway the counter. After a week, we are still there. Even if you don't know how to read, you know that there is something missing, I think. Look at the text. There are ticks in the book. You know that the tick means right. A cross means something wrong. Just look at that and comment about it. The child will know that this parent cares and is following me up. So they will shape up. The mere fact that you are having a child in school shows that you are interested in school even if for you you need to go to school. And this child will shape up. Let's try to pay the school dues in time, most especially for the candidates. I pray that you hold other things and ensure that the candidate is well sorted. There are timelines for everything that happens. Maybe it's registration after such and such a date will not register again. So struggle and let this child be sorted and you're like, okay, I finished the candidate and that candidate is ready to go. Then help them get or produce the results that you expect from them. I want us also to push on our children from our material, from our family problems. Many of our children are being killed because of that. You disagree with your wife or with your husband and you bring in these issues onto the child. Like your father is a fool, he doesn't do this, I'm struggling as a woman, I come back and... You know, but that is your business with your husband. It's not the child's business. Allow them to be children for the wife. When you tell the student these things, they affect them. A child will be in class, you're teaching and talking, but the child is thinking about how the mother is struggling and how the father is very responsible. And at times it's not right. Please, please, cushion your children. Let your marital troubles be yours and yours alone. When you're giving the fees, let the fees come showing the love that you have for this child. Don't accompany it with so many words. You know, children come to office crying. Cushion your children. Allow them to be children for a while. When their time comes, they will also struggle with their marriages. But don't let them struggle with yours also. They are still children, most especially the candidates. Then other parents, again, overcome other children. Everything the child tells you, you are like, this is my child, I suffered, I don't want my child to suffer, and so on. They deceive you and you accept. They do things that you also know are not right, and you look on because you want them to be happy, you don't want them to... I don't know what happens. We've had... I had two scenarios... I'm in charge of the girls' hostel. A child was like, I don't want to go back to that hostel because they are too, they are too strict. You know, we're a little strict with these children because we want them to be the same. We want to produce a holistic being at the end of the day. So when they realize that the hostels around us are real hostels with University students, they can do whatever they want, they can do everything, but in our hostel we don't allow such things. They come and start saying funny things. 
You know, in this hotel, there is this. This is lacking, and so on. And you're like, I don't want my child to suffer. And you take them to another place, not knowing you're killing the child yourself. Because the moment they'll go there, even if you don't sleep in the hostel for a night, nobody will be bothered. Even if you have a phone and you're talking the whole night with a boyfriend, nobody is bothered. Even if this happens, you know, every day you can move out and go wherever you want to go and come back without anybody saying anything. That's what the child wants. But they say something small about the hostel, the school hostel, and you're like, okay, let's shift and go the other side. Why don't you get interested in talking to us? Why don't you speak to us and find out what the truth really is? I want to urge you to continually speak with us, to consult us, and find out what is actually happening. Because we are in this together. You accepted to give us your children to look after them. Allow us to be the parents where you are, not. And in case you want to find out anything that is happening, then consult us because you decided to bring them to us. Let's not overcome her. There are those that are deceiving parents that, you know, all teachers are teaching using phones, so you have to buy for me a phone. I want to say at school, we don't allow the phones. In fact, we don't allow a child to come with a phone anywhere on our compound, even in our hostel. So if they've deceived you and you've given them the phones, I pray that before you leave this place, please withdraw these phones and give them back to the children when they are at home. Just help us. Then listen attentively to what these children say. A lot is truth, but a lot also is lies. Try to know your child, and as they are talking, listen to them. See the nonverbal cues, see what they are saying. Look at them and find out why they are saying what at a given time. You will learn a lot. When you feel a little confused, consult. The children present themselves in different ways. At home, she's a different child. At school, a different child. With the colleagues, a different child. On the street, a totally different person. When confused, please try to consult. Somebody may help you understand your child a little more than you do. As I end, I want to thank you once again for coming, for listening to us, for bringing in whatever we asked for. I know we asked for a lot. But I want to emphasize that talk to us, talk with us, and everything will be fine. May God bless you. Thank you for listening to us. Obadu nyonye biyuma, yuwa nikoseza mmakago, mufamu yo, ufabemba ale vale farm machinery. Tukulete debiyuma biyuwa nikoseza mmakago, mufamu, utandi kao business yo, entono tono. Gambi biyuma anga, omuli, obuko la popokoni, obu amanda, na masanyerazi. Metuwela nebiyuma, evisi akasoli, maize brand, nevisala, esubi, ediente. Tusange mchibuga, echembale, wanoku industrial area, kuround about, agenda kulufula Gugwere Road. Tusangi kunamba yesimu 0 msambu 5 muenda 1 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 muenda 